Hey guys, this is Mina. Welcome to the Universe Guru. Today we're doing a collaboration with a couple other amazing minimalist YouTubers on what minimalism means to us. Go ahead and check their videos out at the end of this video. I'll go ahead and post up their links in the description box and also as a card at the end of this video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We talk about minimalism, personal finance, financial independence, and living a joyful, intentional life on less. So I decided to put together this collaboration on what minimalism means to us to show you guys that minimalism is something that can be customized and it can be used as a tool to enhance your life. I think there's still a lot of misunderstanding on what minimalism means. I think a lot of people tend to Google the definition and that definition seems very unappealing and so I've seen a lot of YouTube videos and blog posts actually demeaning and bashing minimalists and minimalism because of that definition. So so I wanted to clarify that minimalism is not about living with less, it's not about having to sacrifice things, it's actually about enhancing and enjoying your life to the fullest. So minimalism means having more, not less. It means paying yourself first, filling your glass full with things that you enjoy and value first, and therefore getting rid of all the noise or all the clutter or all the things that belong in our life, not because we want them to or we need them to but because other people have told us that we need those things. To my family, minimalism means having more, not less. And the best example that I can give you guys of this is something we talk about here on The Universe Guru a lot. If you imagine a society where everybody had nothing, that the baseline was zero. So to get everybody to where they had at least the minimum of everything that they needed and everything that gave them value, we would have to we would actually have to add things in to get them to the baseline, not remove things. It just so happened that we live in a society where everybody is over-consumed, we're really busy, we're over-cluttered, our schedules are jam-packed. So in this society, when we think about minimalism, getting to where everything brings us value and joy, we're actually having to remove things. And I think that is where that conception of, oh my God, I have to get rid of things, I have to sacrifice my life and my stuff for me to be a minimalist comes for. No, not necessarily. If you're kind of dabbling into minimalism and you don't know where to start, a great exercise is to close your eyes and imagine that you have nothing right now, that somehow everything gets taken away. Now, you have the option of adding things in. What are the things that you need to add back right away? What would what would be your five things that you absolutely can't live without and they just make you so excited to jump out of bed? Maybe it's your family. Maybe it's your passion for playing the guitar, so you need your guitar. Maybe you love to paint, so you have to have your painting supplies. Whatever it is, add those five things in. Then, maybe you want a little more, add another five things in. And now stop for a second. Do you really need anything more after that point? Or would you be happy if you just had those 10 things? And remember, when we talk about things, they don't necessarily have to be things. They could be activities. Minimalism is just not about counting the number of things you have. It's also getting rid of the overcommitments, the commitments that we've made but we really don't enjoy. Have you ever woken up on a weekend excited that it's the weekend but you realize that you have to go and do something that you don't really enjoy? just because you signed up for it or somebody told you you have to be there. Maybe it's an event or a work commitment and you're absolutely dreading it. Well, minimalism is about reducing those events so you can really enjoy your life. Every day should be a day where you jump out of bed and you're excited because you love the life that you've designed. That is what minimalism is. It's not about living with less. It's actually living with more of what brings you joy and, and enjoyment in life. It's being intentional in your decisions. Everything you buy, you should be intentional about it. Do I really need this? Do I really love this? Is this going to bring my life worth? Is it going to take time away from something else that I love to maintain this thing? Any commitment that comes your way, you think, is this something that I'm going to jump out of bed with the next Saturday? Or am I going to really dread this? You become more intentional in your decisions, in the energy that you expand, in your, in your money, in your time, in your commitments. Everything becomes intentional. So minimalism is definitely not living without, it's not sacrificing. If you remove something because of minimalism and it feels like a sacrifice, you are doing something wrong. It should feel amazing. You should feel joyful. 
you should feel excited about getting out of bed you should be excited about going about your day because everything that is in your environment in your space is something that you intentionally put in your life and it brings you so much joy that you can't imagine filling your life with anything less I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead and check out all the other amazing collaborations to find out that minimalism is not the same for everybody. It is whatever you want it to be. At the end of the day, it's a tool that you can customize. Leave in the comments below, what does minimalism mean to you? I'll link all the other wonderful YouTubers in the description box and here as a card, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.